are there two computer science programs at Berkeley? Hi, welcome back to Dear Mandy. So if you've been admitted to Berkeley for computer science or you're researching about computer science programs and like you found out that Berkeley has two computer science programs and you're like, what? Today, let me give you an overview of what's the main differences between those two programs. Oh, are you new here? Oh, maybe you should consider clicking that subscribe button so that you'll know whenever I have more videos like this. So what is the biggest difference between those two programs? So first of all, one of them is under the College of Engineering. One of them is under the College of Letters and Sciences. And you're like, eh. If you go through CS in the College of Letters and Sciences, you're gonna get a Bachelor of Arts Computer Science degree. Versus if you're in the College of Engineering, you get Bachelors of Science, Electrical Engineering, and Computer Science, EECS, yes. For the College of Letters and Sciences, you do come in as undeclared, and then you have to take certain computer science requirements um, and get a certain grade in order to officially become a computer science student. You have to declare your major. Whereas if you come in as an EECS major in the College of Engineering, you're already declared as a EEC student. Um, so there's like not that hassle of like going through that de declaration. The general education requirements that you have to take in order to graduate. So as some of you might know, there's the major classes that you have to take and then there's the general classes you have to take. So let's break it down. For the College of Letters and Sciences, your general requirements are going to be towards like humanities. Whereas the College of Engineering, you're going to do a little bit more math, more physics that make up your general requirements. And for me, I actually went into the College of Letters and Sciences because I felt like I was maybe 90% sure about doing computer science and I really wanted an easy backup. Because within the College of Letters and Sciences, I was able to switch between majors fairly easily um, because I actually go in as undeclared. So in case I find out that CS is not for me, I can easily switch. So those are the two main differences in terms of like admissions. Um, let me talk a little bit more about the major classes. So for the major specific computer science classes, for these two majors are more or less the same. Um, so me, as someone in the LNS CS program, takes exactly the same CS classes as someone who was in EACS because essentially the computer science classes are the same. And for someone like me, I really enjoy taking less complicated math, less complicated physics. I didn't have to take any physics, so that was also a really good part for me because I felt like, why do I need to take physics? Because essentially I'm not doing any electrical engineering. So like being in the CS program in the LNS college was a very good match for me. Um, for the reasons of like the general requirements, I get to take more like humanities and like different majors, different types of classes. And also like if I end up not doing CS, then like I have a really easy place to be and like switching majors and things like that is a lot easier. So actually for your junior and senior year of college, um, that's when you take your upper division classes. And that's like for Berkeley specifically, are gonna be classes that are specifically in certain topics under computer science. And someone with LNSCS and someone with College of Engineering who decided to go down the CS track is gonna take the same exact classes. Or like they can choose from the same range of classes. And with the different general requirements as I mentioned in order to graduate. So for me, um, specifically for computer science classes, we do take all of them together regardless of which um, college you're under. Another common question that I get is, is the EEC program or the degree, is it better than CS? I feel like there's not a big difference if you're going into like kind of like the software engineering route. I feel like Berkeley CS programs, both of them, have great enough of a reputation that they know that you end up taking the same classes anyway and that um, you get the same knowledge and like you have the same abilities either degree that you end up getting. Depends on you if you are going to end up getting a computer science degree. In my opinion, there's practically there's not much of a difference, especially if you're going into software engineering. Already for you incoming researching students who are curious about the two Berkeley CS programs. I hope I was able to give you a good overview of what's the differences and like which one should I apply to. Um, if you have any more like more in-depth questions, I would love to 
answer them in the comments below if you leave them there. And if you found this video helpful in any way, please give me a big thumbs up down there so I know you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. And if you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, I would really, really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button and also the bell next to it so that you can get notified on whenever I make videos like this. And my goal here, remember, is to help you grow as a software engineer or as a computer science student. So stay tuned for more content like this and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!